Hi everyone, Ken from Active Newcastle here today. And then he said, standing in for John, sitting in for John. So we're coming right up to three o'clock now, just a few seconds before. Hopefully the music level's okay. I won't necessarily be able to see any comments. So I'm hoping, I've said it at regular levels, so I'm hoping everything's okay. Just give it a few more seconds. We're literally right on three. Here we go, team. So, welcome this Wednesday afternoon. Jam's usually here, but we're going to be doing seated exercise today. Um, it will be suitable for most people. The main adaptation, I will give adaptations, but the main adaptation is work at your own pace, take a rest if you need to. You do participate at your own discretion. A few other considerations, make sure you've got fresh air, cool air supply, um, a towel if you need one, and a drink you'll probably need one. Remember, stop if necessary, rest between sets. So I think we're going to start. So we'll start the format today. We're going to do a gentle pre-warm up and we'll just start in the chair. You can do the standing next to the chair, using the chair as balance if you wish. I'm going to predominantly be in the chair today. So we're just moving, just warm that spine up very gently, just moving from side. Shouldn't feel uncomfortable. It might just be a little movement. Just dropping the body from left to right, back to the centre. Just pause a second before you move to the other side. Make sure your feet are stable. They'll support you in the chair. You don't want to feel like you're, you're going to fall out of the chair. A couple more. Maybe feeling that spine just giving a little bit in a natural way and it'll allow you to stretch that a little bit further as your body trusts. Warming the muscles up on the side of the body as well as the spine and relax to the center. Now roll the shoulders back. So try not to pull the head in. Try and make sure the shoulders just come up and rotate. I'm going to move in my chair so you can see. I think it's pretty obvious, but pulling them back before you drop them up, back before you drop them. And similarly, change direction. So now we're rotating forward. You might hear a few cracks in, in the shoulders. As long as it does not accompany you with any pain, that shouldn't be any kind of problem. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, and left shoulder. Moving forward now. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Right, might look opposite on the camera. As long as you're going from one side to the other, it shouldn't matter. And it's double back. And a double forward. There we go, team. So we'll just start tapping those toes. You can sit back in the chair for this. Just tapping those feet. Now we're going to bring a heel dig in. Work at your own pace. I'm going to turn to the side. You don't have to move at all. That's a heel dig. It's toe back, heel in. Now change to a toe tap, little stretch in the instep. Heel toe on one side, three, two, one, heel, toe, heel and toe. Switch sides, heel toe. If you can't do that, just pick one or the other and one more change, heel toe, heel toe. Be nice and relaxed, comfortable breathing. The main thing is all the way through. Try not to hold the breath. Last change, heel toe this side. Three, two, one. Side step, so away and back, away and back. Not too wide, you don't want to feel any strain in the hips. Good. Now we're going to do a tap back, so you may have not much room behind you. If that's the case, move your feet too far forward, or a little bit further forward than you normally would. 
tap back, bring it back. If you can tap your foot under the chair, that's great. Just warming these hamstring muscles up, this group of muscles at the back of the leg, the knee joint. A little bit more. Walking on the spot, three, two, one. Roll the shoulders. And roll back. Back to your heel dig. Bring a bit of coordination. Opposite arm curl. No weight this time. I've got tins with me today. So have a little think of that. You may want when I'll give you a little break. And you can grab a couple of tins or your weights. And we'll do a little conditioning section. But this, that's to come. So don't worry. I'll give you plenty of notice. Keep the curl, but move your foot to the side. It's a little tricky that, the forward coordination of the arm with the side coordination of the leg. Now we're going to move those feet two, four forward if necessary, tap back, keep that curl. Same thing with the arm. Then we're going to march it out, and when we march, we're going to keep that curl. Three, two, one, marching with the curl. Turn the palm up, bicep curl. Turn the hands over, reverse curl. That means the back of the hands coming up first. Palm down in other words. Run for 10, go one, two. Try and coordinate your curls, three. It's difficult with one leg, legs at one rhythm, arms at another, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Keep on the move, team. Big circles. Opposite circle. And relax. Double curl. One. Relax. Two. Three, relax. Four, relax. Five, relax. Palms up. One, relax. Two, relax. Three, keep going, everyone. Four, relax. Five, relax. Six, relax. Turn over. One, relax. Reverse curl. Two, relax. Three, relax. Four, relax. Five, relax. And six, relax. Relax as we move. Turn to your left. Back to the centre. And to your right. Back to the centre. Without restricting your breathing, just drop the head. Make sure there's a minimum of a tennis ball distance between your chin and chest. Back to the centre. Firm jaw, chin up. Don't squash your back, the back of your neck. Lift your chin forward. The center, ear goes over to one side, center, ear to the other side. You'll be feeling that in the hips now with those legs if you've been keeping them on the move. Well done, you'd be a bit warmer as well. Back to the center, grab a quick drink if you need one. Easy kick with the leg. Keep going, team, if you saw what I've done. Doesn't have to be high. I'm in danger of kicking my tongue, so. That's it. Hands up. Another punch. Shoulder height. With your arm straight out, straight back. Knees. Not too high in the chair. If you feel it in the hips, just drop it down. If you need to, just lift on your toe. Lift. Lift, 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 or lift it off the floor, just a bit. Or paddle in the feet. With a, as well, now we're all going to paddle the feet, so if you've been lifting the knees, come down to a foot paddle, that's just keeping the foot on the floor, just lifting those heels, push and back. 
Dann mach die mit Geld halt. Moving up from the hip to the ribs. Can have a quite a smooth rhythm or a deliberate. Can be quite tricky coordinating the hands and the feet to slightly different rhythms. Moving to the high position, that's your chest and shoulder, if it's comfortable. Three, two, one. Side steps with the feet. Excuse me, everyone. Front raise, so hands by your side. Again, another coordination, side and front. We're going to start working a bit harder now. Double arm in. Slow down, go back to single arm if you need to. Three, two, one, push. Scissors. Three, two, one. Arms out, feet in. Back to a regular walk. Gentle on the spot. In three, two, and one. Back on the spot. Good job, team. an eye on the time, because we have a time as it decided to switch itself off. Typical. Hands in. One and back. Two and back. Pick the rhythm that suits it. Could be quite deliberate. Or a little bit moderate. But even together. Pick the one that sits. Double. Shoulder muscle is quite a small muscle group, so if it starts to feel too tired or too tense, or your breathing goes up, take the arms out or slow them down or go back to single. Three, two, and one. Lose the arms. Sure. Put a quick shoulder roll in, get rid of that tension. Leg extension, a little conditioning session now. So one, and relax. Two, relax, we'll slow the pace again. Three, but now we're working firmly, and back. Four, relax. Five, we're going all the way to 10 if you can. Six, and seven, and eight, and nine and ten. Walk. We're going to jog it up for five. So forward in the chair, arms ready for five. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Back to those leg extensions. This time a double on each side. So Brief touch down, so left leg out, brief touch down, straight back up, then relax. So one, touch down, two, and relax. Change sides. One, and two. One, two, relax again. Two, relax again. One more each side, one more doubler. One, two, one more doubler. One, two, regular walk. Hands up. If you have any kind of blood pressure problems or heart condition, you might want to move your hand to the side. If not, as long as your feet are on the move and you're not keeping it there, up, up. As long as you don't hold your breath and your feet are on the move, you should be safe. If you feel tension building up in the shoulder muscles, just drop it down and just lift from here. Or, to 
push to the side. But above if you can. We're going to come back to those leg extensions. This time we're going to do a triple set in three. And two. And one. Back to the leg extensions. Three times each leg, team. Don't hold the breath. One. Relax. Don't touch down if you don't need to. Two. Don't touch down if you don't need to. And a three. And relax. Other side. And that's a bit of a toughie. One. Two. Three. Excellent. Up here. Control and leg development. One. Two. Three. And relax. Back. Second. One. Two, three, one more each side, a triple. One, two, three, and one more triple. One, two, three. Feet up and moving. Excuse me. Hands up, punch and back, punch and back. Jab and cross, jab and cross. Straight punches. Bring the waist in. And a hook. Just swing the arm. Wider feet. Keep tapping if you can. Uppercut, scooping the arm in a circle. Three, two, one. Regular walk, punch again. Level the head. 45 degrees above the head. Level with the shoulder. Forty five under. Three, two, one. Arms up like a boxer. Peck deck and over. Close the guard, open the guard, or peck deck. Three, two, and one. Arms down, sidestep. Hands by the side, lift. Same arm, same leg. Now stop and opposite arm, opposite leg. If that's tricky, go back to the same. Or should we make it easier by doing two arms, one leg? Yeah, why not? Good work, everyone. Three, two, one. Push across. Bring in the hand and push it, push it, push it. Change it to pulling. Pull a big curtain across in front. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Get on those windows, little circle. Clean those windows. Medium window. Large window, really large window. If you can, pick the window of the size that suits your, the circumference, you know, the circle of your arm. Wax on, wax off. Two arms together, opposite. Now this is the trick. One way doesn't usually want to coordinate, give it a try. Three, making them smaller. Two, smaller, smaller, smaller. Three, two, one. And watch it out. Excellent work if you're still here. Working well now. Should be feeling warmer. 
We're going to sprint for 10. 3, 2, 1, let's go. 1, 2, or, brief, or brisk march. 3, in your chair. 4, or beside your chair. 5, 6, don't get breathless. Heavy breathing is okay, but not breathlessness. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Slow down, walk. Get your breath back. We're going to do that again for 8. 3, 2, one for eight. Let's go to you. One, two, three, four. Can be a brisk march like I'm doing now or a little run. Five, six, seven, and eight. Slow it down. Breathing. So we do it again, believe it or not, for six. Ready, team? Three, two, one, go. One, two. Best you can. Keep that breathing regular. Three, four. We're nearly there. Five, six. Slow it down. We've got one more set. Just for four. Three, two, one. Let's go for four, team. One, two, three. And four. Slow it down a bit. Come to the end of your chair. Be still be safe, of course. Swing your hands around. See so you're in a position to stretch your back and chest. And just paddle the feet. We're slowing down a touch now. Just done some hard work there. Stretch the body while it's a bit warmer. Feet are still paddling. I've got things, comments on the phone I can't see, but I think the camera will be picking that up from, from your perspective. Hands to the front. I'm turning in the chair. You don't need to. Drop the head a little. Feel a good stretch across the upper back and across the shoulders. You will not be holding the breath. Your chin will be tennis ball distance from the chest. There will be no pressure in the neck. Keeping those feet on the move, stretch up. You're pushing back over. I'm pushing towards my the back of myself. Open up. You might lose my hands, so I'll bring them in a little. The can still be out to 90. Just circle the wrists. Opposite circle. And relax it down. One roll, one roll, one hand across, side step in. Relax and shake it down. With the hand up, shoulder height, cross the chest, comfortable position. Relax the shoulder being stretched so it shouldn't be sort of right stick, sticky up here. Now relax it. Relax, shake it out. Heel dig. Hands above the head. Drop down. Little tuck in. Shake it down. Up. Drop down. Tuck it in. And relax. Moving on the spot. Now, it's not usual to do core or abdominals in a chair. You tend to think you can't, but of course you can. There's some gentle things. I'm going to show you from the side. So what I want you to do, team, is not be resting against the back of your chair, but be sitting upright and push your bum back. If you want to be back in your chair, but your bum behind your shoulders, if you like. And all we're going to do from that position is drop the chin and lift the toes and relax. If you get it right, you'll squeeze here and relax. It's a very good core exercise. Squeeze. It doesn't look like you're doing much. Squeeze. You're breathing out slightly. Squeezing. That's five. We're going to do ten all the way through. Six. And relax. You should be feel that really tense. If you put your hands on your tummy area, abdominal area, and squeeze, you'll feel them really dig in. You're lifting your feet and squeezing in about an inch or so. And relax. Squeeze, I've lost count. I'll take, we'll take the benefit of the doubt. Two more. Squeeze and relax. And squeeze and relax. Tap on those feet, team. We're going to do another set of those. When you first do them, you may find them a little tricky. You think what's actually happening, but if you put your hands here, you'll find that it's really activated your abdominal muscles. So from the other side this time, there's my line against the chair. I bring the back away from the chair and push my bum a little bit further behind. Okay, so I'm here. So I've already engaged this bit. Settle the breathing down. Lift, lift, and squeeze and relax. Only doing eight. Squeeze and relax. And seven and relax. 
I'm counting. Again, and relax. Again, and relax. And one more, I'll make this the set. And relax, tap away. We're gonna do one more set of six. Three, two, one, team. Back in the chair, back off the chair. Bum behind, hips behind, sitting tall. Drop slightly forward, lift the toes high. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze, that's two. We need another four. Three, three left. Two, two left. One, one after this to finish, team. And squeeze and move. Good job if you stayed with that. I know it might be a bit new for some of you, but it's actually quite straightforward. What's the time you do? We're going to go in. I think you've worked pretty hard today. Didn't get a chance to use the tins, like I said, so I, that's why I didn't bother to announce it, because I, I think we've done quite a bit. So we'll just slow those feet down and just have a stretch to the front. Relax, and make sure your breathing's regular. Stretch off to an angle on your left, so turn to adjust, and stretch. And relax, turn off to give a little angle, just free your hips and spine a little. Stretch, and relax. Big circles. So, if you enjoyed this video, everyone, by the way, you could leave, give a thumbs up, leave a comment. We're always open to ideas, how to improve, and relax. Roll those shoulders. And if you're watching on YouTube, pre recorded, hit the subscribe, turn on the notifications, opposite direction for the shoulders, so you don't miss anything, any of our new videos. And, you, and while you're there, just stabilize your feet to you. Reach down and breathe. And while you're there, check out the links in the descriptions below to see what else we've got to offer. The library of things there that you might find interesting now. One more each side. Make sure your feet are wider so you're stable, so you don't feel like you're, you're not going to fall off the side of the chair. Oh, if you've got a chair with sides on, just bring your hands up and just turn. Turn, excuse me, team. I should have pointed that out. Bringing the hand across, we've done this one, but it's very important, we did a lot of shoulder work. A little tap foot should still be tapping just a little. It's better for the heart, better for the blood pressure, better all around. Cleans, you know, waste products and everything from muscles that have done some hard work. Shake down everyone. And across, we're nearly there to you. So thank you for being here today. If you stayed with it, good job. If you stayed with as much as you could, good job. So thank you for your effort. Relax, just turn in the chair. You won't get a full rotation, just turn. If you bring your hands in, just turn. Spinal health is very important, so we'll make sure we'll put everything, keep everything mobilized, keep everything on the move. And relax, pop one leg out to the side. It might, I might have gone off camera. Basically, I've just got my toe up like a heel dig, but it's a straight leg. And all I'm gonna do is lean towards the support side and that'll be enough to get a mild stretch down that leg don't have to grab it in nature we'll do the rest i'll just breathe and relax always try to relax in your stretches your body will stretch much much further and much much more comfortable if you can still stay breathing and stay relaxed so extend the leg heel dig position you can lean across to the other side quite comfortably i'm in quite a good posture and i'm just supporting here and i've got a mild stretch and relax what i want you to do is put your hands on the outside of your legs and just push out a little and relax put your hands on the inside of your legs and just resist but just push in a little not too much and relax bring your hands in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in Okay, team, here we go with our breathing. Breathing in, big circle. Breathe out. In. Hit the top, reverse the arms on the out breath. Last one in, big, big, big. Breathe out, pin the shoulders back for postures. If you're putting your chest for really pull them back into place. Three, two, one, and relax. Neutral spine, one shake. Jiggle the arms out, shake the arms out. There we have it for today. Thanks everyone. Don't forget the classes tomorrow. We've got Heather's 
a gentle exercise class um, at 11 o'clock till 11.30, followed by, I do a core class at 12 o'clock, 12 noon. Be there if you can, it's 15 minutes. And then on Friday, we have Quizmaster No, and prior to his quiz at 12.30, he does a circuit, a stay-at-home and exercise with No. So, and I think Heather's class is gentle well-being, excuse me, but it is gentle exercise, suitable for everyone. And she's got a you know, unique style, so you'll, you'll like that as well. So thanks for today. Jan should be back next week, all things being equal. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you